Hi, I'm Dr. Dave McPhail and I'm at Gore Animal Hospital and I want to talk to you today about grass seeds and pets and why that's a big problem. Now, I've made a bit of a collection here. It took me all of 30 seconds to go outside the front door and uh, into my neighbours, luckily not in our own yard. Um, and here is what we're talking about. These are grass seeds. These are fresh ones. They don't really cause too much of a problem. But given a bit of sun and a bit of warmth, this is what happens. These dry out like this and it takes no time at all and these cause all sorts of problems with pets. That's a bigger one, you can imagine having that up your dog's nose, it's not much fun. So, the problem is that nature relies on animals to help spread these grasses, that's how they survive and propagate and uh, they get trapped, the seeds get trapped in the animal and they move it along somewhere else and off it goes. And here's the problem, this is the way it works. If you look at this, this is a grass seed. Uh, with a long tail. Uh, this is one of the varieties. If you run your fingers along this way, down towards the tail, it's as smooth as smooth can be. You try and run it back and you see what happens. It catches. It's got these tiny little barbs that move in the one direction and that causes movement in one direction only. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration. I hope it works. Don't be embarrassed if not. I've prepared this before. So again, here's one of these little grass seeds. So I'm going to use this swab. I'll just pop this in here so you can see how it goes. And so imagine that's in the dog's skin or the cat's skin, and then we just have a little bit of skin movement. And you'll see what happens here. Do you see that's starting to move into the what we call the skin here? Give a little bit more. It suddenly disappeared. And there you go. Out it comes. See how that works? That's magic. That's good fun apart from anything else. So anyway, why is that a big problem? Um, well, these things get into all sorts of weird and wonderful places in dogs and cats particularly. Up noses, in ears, um, in eyes, one of those things in your cat's eye, that's not a lot of fun. In fact, I can tell you from personal experience, I had one of these barbs in my, uh, in my eye once. I was working on a farm in Canada and I had it there for two days before I found the thing and it was not a whole lot of fun. Couldn't do a thing. So they get in all those weird and wonderful places. They also work their way through skin and commonly in toes and between toes and, and dogs particularly, not so much cats. And um, and they hurt. And so um, what are the signs of that? Well, primarily sneezing if they're up a nose or cause it's violent sneezing episode, shaking their heads if they're in ears, um, a closed eye or a sore eye or a discharging eye would be common, common signs. We see that a lot. Also lameness, if it's a sore leg, it, the, the seed will work its way through the skin literally and up and work its way all the way up the leg. And so you get a discharging sinus, swelling, the dog looks at that and um, creates a, a problem for it. So what should you do about it? Well the first thing is give us a call and get in because these seeds don't normally come out. Once they've gone in we have to get them out. So don't hang about, the further they go the, har the harder they are for us to find them. And, um, so the other thing about this is that probably we're going to need to use an anaesthetic to get those out one way or the other, even in ears and up noses, or particularly up noses. So give us a call, get them in. How do you avoid them? Well, simply stay away at this time of year if you can. Stay away from long grasses with your dogs particularly. Cut the grass back if that's feasible for you and clean up the seeds because they cause real problems when they've just been cut. And um, checking your dog and your cat. Lots of uh, keep their hair clipped short and check them every day, brush them, check their ears, check between the toes if you have a long-haired dog like I have. And if in doubt, give us a call.